Hello everyone! Today's not the best of all days, at least not for me. It's just been one of those days where nothing is going right and it just feels terrible. So <laughs> I'm sorry if that semi reflects in this video. I just wanted to let you all know. But anyways, I don't really want to talk about the bad things. I've got on my penguin shirt from Salamanda, which I just, how can you be upset when you've got penguins on your boobs? Especially rhinestoned penguins? I just, come on, that's really exciting. The only thing more exciting than that would probably be if I had a print of Galileo and like he had some sort of like a rhinestoned cape and he was riding some sort of a magical something over a moon. I don't even, what am I talking about? I don't, nope. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. Let's just, let's dive right in, shall we? First up on the bottom of my pyramid, this was an absolute no-brainer for me. I got this in one of my birch boxes kind of a long time ago, many, many moons ago anyways. I've tried it before in previous months since I got it, but every month I keep pulling it out and I'm like, maybe this month it'll be better. Maybe somehow it'll change. What is the definition of insanity? trying the same exact thing twice and expecting different results. Yeah, um, that's me with this Cella Ivory Lace Highlighter. I had high hopes for this. I mean, I was really excited to get this in my birch box. Yeah, I, I don't know. You guys, I am so not <laughs> articulate today. I'm sorry, this is gonna be such a mess of a video. So you're like, oh cool, it goes on so well on my hand doing swatches. Let's put it on my face where it belongs. So I tried doing the waterline thing because that's what people seem to love these nude pencils for. You know, it went on the waterline fine, but then it disappeared. <laughs> Birchbox also said that you could use this as a concealer. So I'm like, okay, the waterline thing didn't work. No biggie, I'll try it as a concealer. That's nice, a multi-purpose product. So I tried it as a concealer. And just like in my waterline, it went on really smooth and nice and is pigmented and then it's just gone. Like granted, it's not like an instantaneous thing or anything. I think it takes like maybe an hour or two, but like that's nothing. I don't recommend this pencil. I think it's pretty expensive. I think it's like 20 bucks. I could be wrong. I will correct myself here as always though. Yeah, in any case, I just, I don't think you should waste your money on this. It's not worth it unless you like products that disappear in an hour. Next up is a product that I just reviewed, so if that uh, didn't give anything away, I really can't help you here <laughs> other than showing you the product. And that is the Stila CC Color Correcting Cream. I had high hopes for this. It's Stila, I like Stila products. They usually work really well. And this does work well. Oh, it's trying to run away. It doesn't like me saying bad things about it. If you watch my first impression review video, you'll get my full feels on it. It works in the beginning, like if you need really, really sheer coverage. It does give you that and it's got a really nice silky smooth finish, but I personally got really oily on my nose a few hours in, and then my forehead was also an oil slick by the end of the day. Like said, the coverage is just not there, but if all you have is maybe some redness to cover up and you don't have oily skin, then this would probably be really good for you. But I mean, it's $44 and I just feel like if that's all you need for your skin, you don't need to spend $44 on this product to correct that. Like, I feel like you could get something from the drugstore for so much cheaper. Don't ask me what, because I don't try out sheer things unless they're free like this was. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, Stila. I just, I can't give it to you on this one. I just can't. I gave it a try and I guess it was fun to try out if anything, so yeah. <laughs> So next up, I couldn't, I swear I have not talked about this before. I'm so sorry if I have, but I really don't think I did. So, God, I feel like the way and how much I talk about my feet, you guys must think I have like the most disgusting feet in the world. They're really not that bad, but I just, 
Yeah, okay. It is this Avon Footworks Beautiful Cocoa Butter Deep Moisturizing Cream. I'm sorry if you get so sick of me talking about foot creams, but like, I like trying them out. I like foot cream and just, yeah. This one was one of those ones I got on sale, free shipping, etc. So I think I paid two or three dollars for this bottle. I was curious to try it out. All of the reviews seemed mostly positive. I think it got like four and a half out of five stars or something. For me, it just is not good. It feels slightly moisturizing when you put it on, but then in the morning it's like your feet are a desert again. And no, I don't need that. I like a much thicker cream than this. This is kind of watery. I mean, it's not like super watery. I know I put like the most baby amount on my finger. It's just, it's very sheer. It's like the CC cream. It's a very sheer coverage. It does smell very nice. I think it smells like their other formula that I tried at one point that had like bursting seeds in it or some seeds, bursting balls. That's not much better, is it? Just kind of fresh and floral, I guess. Which surprised me because it says this is a cocoa butter formula. It smells nothing like cocoa butter and it's also not thick like cocoa butter usually is. I really, I didn't like this. I will absolutely not repurchase this. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody and I am excited to move on to the next thing. <laughs> There's my boy. All right, up next I have another cream, but this one is for your hands. And it is the Sonia Kashuk Pink Innocentia? Innocentia? I, I've never heard that form of innocence before, but uh, there you go. It's tuberose, amber, and magnolia. Stephanie from the blog Short and Chic, one of my loveliest blogger friends, when she sent me, gosh, that was probably at least a month ago now, month or two ago, it was in one of my first impression review, YouTube made me buy it or something videos, you saw me. Um, crying about her package that she sent me. This was in it. I mean, I'm always up for trying out lotions, so hey, I was excited. <laughs> she said in the note that she left me with this that she had only tried it like two or three times, so like she couldn't really talk about the moisturizing power or anything, but she just really liked the smell. It is basically like someone took like a huge stock thing of tuberose and just slapped you repeatedly in the face with it, which if you're like me and Stephanie, that's really nice. <laughs> to some people, that's just extremely unpleasant. Ah, oh. ah, oh. it's real nice. It is very heavily scented though, so like if you don't like a lingering scent on your hands or anything, this definitely will not be for you. It does linger for many, many hours. I think this hydrates so well. It's a thick cream, but it's really moisturizing and super not greasy. Like there's no residue or anything right after you rub it in, it's just gone. I just, I really like it. So thank you, Stephanie. Can we just, <laughs> he's just watching me as I film my video. Are you watching mama? He says, don't touch. Let me watch in peace. All right, moving on. This one is something that I think a few people recommended to me. At least a few people, because it definitely wasn't my idea to go out and buy it. And I actually, from here on out, these are all like really good products. So this was kind of where, I mean, granted the Sonia Kashuk hand cream was too, but like from the hand cream and onward, it was really hard to kind of like put these in a pyramid. So eh, take the order with a grain of salt because they're all kind of sort of fantastic in their own ways. It just depends on what you might need. I digress. It is the Milani Liquid Eye Liquid Like Eyeliner Pencil. And I got mine in the shade Black. This is really good, you guys. Sometimes smudges. Sometimes. But I have really watery eyes. Like, really watery to the point where I have had multiple surgeries on my tear ducts and whatnot to get this fixed. Keep that in mind. It's only smudged on me on the one eye that waters the most. So... 
I'd say that's pretty good. And it only smudges like right in the tear duct area. So like it's not like an all over big mess. It is extremely black. It goes on super duper creamy, super duper pigmented. I mean, it's just, it works so well. And for a drugstore product, that's just all sorts of lovely. I think this was like eight or nine dollars. So like it was on the higher end of drugstore, but it's worth the extra few dollars to get something that's not gonna budge and make you look like a sad raccoon at the end of the day. You should look like a happy penguin is what you should look like. Not a sad one. Thank you guys so much for pointing me in the direction of this pencil. I appreciate it and I love it. Next up, I've got a perfume. I have literally worn this perfume every single day this month. I mean, I tend to do that with perfumes. Usually there will be like a couple days in the month where I just like change it up. Nope, I've worn this one every day. Every day for the month of March. And it is my Tocha Graziella. No one ever corrects me when I pronounce it that way, so I'm just gonna hope and assume that I'm pronouncing it right. I've talked about this before in multiple other months of Best and Worst of Beauty. I'll try to find it like I always do and link it below for you. This is just such a gorgeous perfume. In a gorgeous bottle, might I add. I mean, come on, look at that. I mean, this is just like heavy duty glass. It's got this really pretty, like heavy weight brassy top to it. The perfume, I can't, I can't, I can't. It lasts literally all day, literally. This will not go anywhere. You do one spritz and you're good. You're done, stop, don't do more, it's enough. And the smell, it's like a young adult on the verge of womanhood. You know what I mean, <laughs> right? Maybe? No, okay. This is definitely the most powdery perfume that I own, but it's a subtle powder. It's just got like watered down plummy pear white lily or something in it or some sort of white floral. It's just beautiful. Up next, I've got two products in the same category because I use them in tandem, so I just, I had to put them together. So many of you, when I wear my brown eyeliner, comment and tell me how much you love it and how pretty it is. Uh, I have told you what it is before, but I figure I may as well include it in a best and worst video, just so I can put it out there for you. I really have been wearing brown eyeliner for most of the month. Well, hello. Oh, thank you for the headbutt, honey. You're so loving. Anyways, the eyeliner that I have been using is the Stila Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and it is in the color Rock Candy. My mom actually gave this to me. She had bought it for herself, never ended up using it. Passed it down to me. Thanks, mom. I love this one. However, it is slightly sheer, so underneath it, I just put my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Lionfish. I mean, these two were basically made for each other. It makes it so it lasts all day. No worries about it smudging or anything. Hello. And you're just good to go for the rest of the day. You've got really pretty sparkly brown eyeliner. I mean, it's something a little different, and it just, it looks nice. <laughs> All right, second to the top tier of the pyramid. I have been having a terrible skin month, just really bad. I don't know, I'm sure it's stress related, but it just, it hasn't been pleasant. It hasn't been good. I haven't had like one good skin day this month. One thing that always comes in handy when I'm having a bad skin month, weekday, whatever. The Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. I love this mask. I would recommend it to anyone and everyone who has problematic skin, skin that gets clogged, absolutely, and minimize oil for at least a few days afterward and just I love it I love it it's just it's perfect you just put it on your face and then you let it dry and it gets really dry and then you wash it off and that's it it just feels so good it doesn't smell good but like it's not offensive or anything I will always repurchase this mask uh, mine's definitely getting close to being gone here but I think that just proves how much I freaking love it. Next up is such an exciting product. Also, it's a gift from Stephanie again. So, so much thanks, Stephanie. You are the star of this month. It's one of the limited edition Maybelline color tattoos from their spring 2014 collection. Eee! 
I was so excited when she emailed me and said that she could get me a couple of the colors because they were in stock near her and then it turns out I was able to find one of the colors that she couldn't find so we just kind of like traded, sent each other the different colors and bada bing bada boom, here we are. I have nude compliment. It's so pretty. I think I love it so much because it is very reminiscent of Benefit's birthday suit, their creaseless cream shadow, which I definitely have raved about before. It's just such a pretty color. I've got it on my eyes today. I doubt you're gonna be able to see. Do you need me to take my glasses off? Can you see it? It's just freaking pretty. It's like a barely there brushed chrome type of a color, nudey, delight, wonderful, pretty thing. I just really like it. True to all of the other Maybelline color tattoos, it creases on me, so I do have to use a primer underneath, but other than that, the formula is great. Definitely one of the smoother, creamier ones. Applies really well. It goes on a little bit sheerer than some of my other color tattoos, but I kind of like that with this color because then you can either build it up or just do it as kind of like a really pretty sheer wash on your lids like I did today. If you can get your hands on these limited edition colors, I would highly recommend it. At least getting nude compliment if you can. I think this would be flattering on so many different people, so many Many different skin colors, eye colors, whatever. I think there are definitely still some of the limited edition displays kicking around. Sorry if you can't find it, but to those of you who can, I'm sure you understand my love and yeah, I will leave it at that. <laughs> Alright you guys, we're on the top of the pyramid. How does it feel? We climbed so far. We climbed up the pyramid. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. I was listening to Disney music today on my commute because that's what you do when you need to be cheered up, right? Uh, I don't even know where I was going with that little interlude, but we're at the top of the pyramid. And like I said before, it's been a bad skin month. So my top product has to do with skincare. I have actually mentioned this product before. I don't know that I put it on the very top of my pyramid, but it was definitely close, if not on the top. Like I said, I'll find out. I'll put it below. It is the DDF Acne Control Treatment Salicylic Acid Acne Medication. Dear Howard Sobel, MD founder. You win. Thank you for making this. So appreciative. You have made my skin so much happier. Skin feelings. If you have ever had problematic skin, you understand how good it feels to finally find a product that works for you and calms your skin down. You feel me. Not like, you know, to feel me, but like, you feel me. That's, that's in the soul. That wasn't like a breast grab. <laughs> I'm not helping myself here. I got a sample of this in one of my birch boxes and I loved it so freaking much that I used the whole sample and ended up buying the full size version. Even though this is pricey, it's worth it. Like I said, if you have ever had problematic skin, you know you will pay pretty much any price that you can afford. Slash even maybe you can't afford it. You will put that on your credit card. I use this on days when I'm just kind of kicking around my apartment or if I'm just not wearing makeup and my skin is acting out. It doesn't overly dry out your skin or anything. It doesn't sting, it doesn't hurt. It just literally feels like you're putting water on your skin. It just takes care of things. I, I don't know the science behind it. Dr. Howard, he knows ask him. It doesn't smell the best, but like if you've tried acne medications, it also doesn't smell the worst. So meh. I did do a blog post on it where you can see my skin getting better just from a few different treatments and it's just incredible. It really has helped me out this month and made me feel much better than I would have if my skin stayed nasty. Was that even a complete sentence? I don't think it was, but that's okay. The only complete sentence you need for this stuff is I love you or I do if you're into marrying inanimate objects. All right, friends, family, strangers, random people of the internet. That was my March best and worst of beauty, my pyramid, my thing, my roundup, my favorites, my not so favorites. I hope you enjoyed as always. I hope you're all having a great day and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.